Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to not only the best cooking show that you'll see today, but the best cooking show that you'll see on Twitch. Welcome to ONL Cooks. My name is one named Lucas ONL, and I'm going to cook. But today we're going to be making something that's very near and dear to me, something I've been working on and crafting, something that one named girlfriend approves of, and that is the breakfast burger. So now, what is the breakfast burger? The breakfast burger normally is just a bun, a hamburger patty, some hash browns, an egg, some bacon, and then the top bun to get it all put together. But that's not enough for this cooking show. It's not enough at all. So what we're going to be doing is the ultimate breakfast burger. So let me tell you about the ultimate breakfast burger. It's got hash browns and bacon aplenty. It's got sausage and syrup galore. Do you want an egg? Because it's got one of them. But who cares? It's no big deal. I want more. So let me tell you about the rest of it. Instead of a bun, we're going to be using Eggo waffles. And instead of lettuce and tomato, we're going to be throwing a Krispy Kreme donut on there. And it's everything breakfast related crammed into a burger. So let's build it. Let me see if I can put it in your head. See if you can imagine what you're about to see. On the bottom, we're going to have one Eggo waffle. On top of that, we're going to have half of a Krispy Kreme donut. Then we're going to have our hamburger patty that's mixed with a little bit of sausage. Then above that, we're going to just cover it in hash browns. So many hash browns. Then we're going to add our egg. Then we're going to add our bacon. And then we're going to take our big secret, the Mrs. Buttersworth syrup. No sponsorship. Then we're going to put the other half of the Krispy Kreme donut. And then we're going to slam on top of it the other Eggo waffle. So I hope you guys are ready for this because it's going to be an adventure. I've never made this before. It's something totally new to me. We're going over the top. We're going an extreme because I want to thank you guys for supporting me and giving me those subscribers and hitting that goal back in October. So I hope you're ready for the ride of your lives. So hello everybody that's here joining the show. We're going to have the wide shot. I've got my little table here. Thank you, BB Kate, for nine consecutive months for part of the show. I appreciate it. That hits me right here. That hits me right here. I'll be interacting with chat in a bit. I want to get things started, and then I'll be uh, talking to you guys. Just want to say hello to everybody that's joining. I know Rajiku's out there. Nomo's out there. Uh, Grace, Kit, uh, Bragg, I think I saw earlier. Dozer, everybody. So hello, hello. Uh, I've got my little table here. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to see much of that. But we're going to start things off with uh, bacon and we'll go from there. But let me show you, we got the wide shot going on and then we got the coveted stove shot where you can see everything in action as it goes. So hope you guys are ready. I hope you guys are ready. Let's get things started here. Uh, we're gonna be starting with bacon, like I said. I've already got it open because I'm terrible at opening these packages. Uh, so we're just gonna be slicing some of these in half uh, because the long bacon, while I prefer long bacon, whenever it goes on the burger, the best way to do it is to just cut it in half. And the pan's all ready to go. Um, you guys will have to let me know if the audio kind of gets loud whenever I start sizzling things. So, yeah, we'll find out. We'll find out. I told you guys I wanted to make this a big deal. And uh, we're making this a big deal. So slice number one. I wish I wish I could show this better, but unfortunately the layout just doesn't work. Uh, and we're going to be making a lot of bacon. We're going to be making a lot of bacon. Because who doesn't like bacon? I'll probably be munching on some bacon while we, uh, god damn it, there we go, while we get things going. But I've got this all scheduled out. I hope, I hope everything goes according to plan, but it wouldn't be a one named Lucas stream if things did not go to plan, right? Right? So anyway, we got a few sliced here. Who's ready for the coveted shot? Let's get this flipped over. Here we go. Here we go. Who's ready? Who's ready? Oh, that's nice. That is, that is excellent. That is wonderful sound. 
of bacon hitting the stove. Yo, thank you, Rashiku, for the host. I greatly appreciate it. Mmm. Delicious. Oh, listen to those pops. Listen to those pops. Yo, Dozer, thank you for the host as well, my guy. Can you guys... I'll oh, listen to that. Just listen to that. BBK, thank you so much for the host as well. It's greatly appreciated. Mmm. Mmm. Trying to find things out. I don't have this organized very well at all, but we're going to figure this out. For the whole cooking portion, it's all shot from the hip. I had that opening all written out, and I rehearsed that like 17 times. Mmm. Nothing better than breathing in that bacon smoke. Where's my spoon? Stand by, gotta grab my my stove spoon. Or whatever people call these things, I don't know. I like to have a clean a clean kitchen, even though it's not clean at all, if you guys couldn't tell from the wide shot. Yo, Breg, thank you for the host so much as well. Yo, Tuber, how's it going, my dude? Wash your hands. I do wash my hands. I wash them all the time. You'll see me. You'll hear that sink on like 18 times. It's going to be great. It's, a, it's such a good sizzle. It's such a good sizzle. I think I might be able to throw another one in there now. They've kind of shrank a little bit. But anyway, this pan that the bacon in, is in is the one we're also going to cook our burger in. So we get not only the uh, ow, the only the uh, the sausage that mixed in with the patty and uh, the hamburger itself, but we're also going to have delicious bacon. I'm going to go ahead and cut a couple more slices here to make sure we have plenty. So one thing I've noticed, this is my, <laughs> believe it or not, which I bet you won't. This is my first time wearing an apron. Uh, doesn't do any protection for the arms, you know? None at all. None at all. I'm going to turn that heat down. Ow, mother. Oh, son of a... There we go. There we go. Because I think, honestly, with how big these are, two slices per burger would probably be okay. Maybe three. One, two, three. One, two. So, yeah, we're going to cut one up more, and that'll be all the bacon we're going to end up cooking. So... Unfortunately, the bacon's going to be done a tad earlier than the rest of the stuff, but that's okay. That's okay. It's easy to reheat. So anyway, let me get uh, this bacon grease off my hands. Yeah, I'm not going to be doing that. Not going to be doing that at all. So anyway, while that's going on, we'll set the other bacon slices aside. And we're going to start making our patties. Actually, let me give these guys a quick, quick check. He's a little crispy. He needs flipped. Get that sizzle going. Actually, some of these guys might be done. We might be getting a little head here. It's okay. So we'll flip back over to the uh, the wide cam. Don't forget that sizzling. And make sure I don't tangle myself because I do have a cord attached. So we are going to start making our patty. Like I said, it's going to be some beef patty, and then we're going to mix some sausage into it. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. I'm also awful at opening these. Hello, Erica. Yeah, hey, Kat, are you still in here? Or not, uh, Kate, if you're still in here, take care of that problem. Por favor. Thank you. Appreciate it. The other thing, we got to make sure we keep things that touch raw beef away from things that don't touch raw beef. I'm awful at opening this shit. Like, it's, it's, terrifying how bad I am at opening 
hamburger meat. Also, here's hoping I don't slice myself. We're keeping hands free. Hands free at all. You know what, we're just going to YOLO it. We're just going to YOLO it because we're going to be making our own patty anyway. So we're going to be getting in there. Let's just dig out some beef. There we go. So since the Eggo waffles are a little wide, we're going to want to make these a little wide. I need to check my bacon. Some of this might actually be done. Yeah, these are definitely, definitely done. Those cooked way faster than I ever anticipated them to. So we'll move them to this paper plate. But we're not done yet. We got a few more pieces that we need to throw in there. That sizzle is fantastic. It's everything you've ever wanted in a bacon sizzle. You know what, we'll just start with those three for now. Keep time. Anyway, back to our burger. So, we're just gonna take this and we're gonna kind of form it into a patty. I probably should open the sausage before I started forming. We're gonna be making two of these, by the way. One for me and one for one named girlfriend. some soap in there since we do have a raw beef on our hands and we want to make sure that gets moved. Should probably put up this bacon as well since we're probably done with it. <laughs> no mod buck is a classic now. <laughs> I'll make sure to let her know that too, She's really excited. She really likes the, the community that we have going on. What was I doing? I was putting away the bacon. Bacon for now can go in this bag. Since it never really left it, we'll put it back in the refrigerator here. Let's not drop the bacon, Lucas. There we go. So anyway, back to our patty. We're going to get another knife. And we're going to do it again with the sausage. Now, one thing I did learn, because I've put sausage in a patty once before, and it was good. It was really good. But the problem is, is the sausage will quickly overpower that hamburger meat like crazy. Like crazy. So we're, we're going to be a little sparse this time and hopefully just hit the right amount. So we'll stick a little bit of sausage. Not a lot, just enough, just a nice little, a nice little pinch. Then we're going to take it, we're just going to kind of put it right on top of our hamburger patty, and we're just going to work it in there, work it in there. Am I able to turn the webcam down just a little? Try my best. Here, hold on, just, uh, I'll, I'll give it a shot in just a second. I know that it's a little low, but since my hands are covered in meat at the moment, just call me Bob, Bob's Burgers. Yo, Vince. So you can tell me that I'm doing this all wrong and there's a better way to do it and I'll probably believe you. Um, I should probably turn over that bacon too. This is the multitasking of cooking is a little fun. But anyway, we're going to kind of make this a little, uh, a little thinner and try and keep it from swelling up because the waffle that it's going to be sitting on is obviously going to be pretty big in itself. I don't know if that sausage got mixed in really well. So we're going to do it one more time. Give it a little bit more mixing. But yeah, I'll, I'll try and turn down the camera here in just a second. Appreciate you all coming out, kind of on short notice. I would, I'd rather have gave you guys a, a bigger notice on this. Yo, Senna, thank you so much for the four-month resub. Greatly appreciate it. Yours will be coming very soon. I think mine expires in a couple days. So, official camera holder. I'll let you know that the official camera, the wide camera, is just my laptop camera. So, so we got one patty down. Here's a nice, nice little look at it. There's some, uh, like I said, there's some sausage mixed in there, and the sausage is is pretty powerful, so we'll, we'll just have to set that aside. Let me wash my hands and see if I can fix this camera a little bit. So I also got to check my bacon.
towel went over there. Ugh. Normally I wear my towel on my shoulder, but that's a little hard to do. Yeah, thank you, Wisconsin. Appreciate it. So, we're going to try and keep that in a more sort Let me see if I can tilt this down here. Just a hair without cutting off my head or something. Because I've also got my phone here to make sure that nothing freezes without me knowing. So there we go. You... No, I'll, I'll just squat a little bit. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. So, you got my little table, my paper plate going on. So let's make another. Let's flip the bacon first. Oh no, they've shriveled. You know what? They're fine though. They actually got a really nice color. When they shriveled quite like that, I was afraid one of them was going to get burnt. But I'm actually doing okay. We can throw in our last two pieces actually while we're at it. The last sizzle sounds that you're probably going to hear. So make sure you enjoy them. That uh, was a little damp. There it is. There it is. I'll be quiet. Anyway, we'll move back to making our second patty now. Yo, Bregman, thank you for the four-month resub yourself. I greatly appreciate it, my dude. So I got to say, right now, I'm having a blast. So uh, we might have to do one of these again for shits and giggles. Um, and so far, everything's going pretty dang well. Can't complain. Actually, uh, after I make this patty, I'm going to turn on the other skillet, and we'll start prepping for, uh, for the hash browns. Well, this one's going to be a fat patty, but that's okay. That's okay. I'll just eat this one, so here we go. It's a lot of sausage. This one's going to be really powerful with the sausage. That's actually quite a bit of sausage. But once it's out, it can't go back. It can't go back. A fat patty. Who's cleaning all this up? Unfortunately, it'll probably be me. So I had, I had two, alternative, or two versions of using the sausage. And I was either mix it into the patty like I'm doing now, or I was going to make them like tiny round ones, and we'll just call them the pickles, you know? Hello, Adam. Wait, I'm actually hungry now. Dude, you could follow along. You could go get all the ingredients, set up to watch the VOD, and follow along. This is a massive hamburger patty. It's going to be fat. Hash browns from scratch? Unfortunately, no. Um, they're going to be frozen ones. I was, I was originally planning to do hash browns from scratch. But uh, then the date just kind of snuck up on me, and I just figured it'd be a little easier. Um, because I originally was going to do this last month, but uh, things got twisted around. And it was either I do it today, or I don't get around to do it until uh, um, January. But we could definitely revisit this and try and do more things from scratch. For sure. I definitely want to do hash browns from scratch. Yeah, I know, I know. I wanted to. I really did. I really did. So... Patties are a little uneven, but that's okay. We have patty A and patty B. Just a little off. I might add a little more. Uh... Oh no, my headset's falling from leaning. I should have not turned this on on a completely empty stomach, so anyway. Make sure this is nice and flat because it is going to shrink a little bit. And there we go. We have our two hamburger patties done. I'm actually going to add. I need to. Push up my headset a little bit. I'm gonna add some hamburger to the other one. Make sure, make sure they're fairly even. You know, don't want one named girlfriend feeling gypped at all because she's gonna be eating one too, whether she eats it on camera or not. I have no idea. We'll find out. The dings everywhere, everywhere. So yeah, this one's a little bigger now. Again, these things are gonna shrink, and we're gonna try and hopefully not let that happen. Oh no, my bacon. How'd you guys let me forget about the bacon? That's okay, it's my show, not yours. All right, so those are ready. We're gonna wash our hands again. That's one issue with this apartment is this sink likes to spit out water so hard it splashes everywhere.
trying to navigate this court is rather difficult. That was Smapoth. Unfortunately, there is no butter in this. You would think that the guy that has a butter-related emote would, uh, would have one. So, the patties are made. The bacon needs flipped, because we've forgotten about it. Spent too much time on the pan. They're actually doing okay. They're not bad. They're not bad. These definitely need to come out, though. He's a little crispy. We'll just eat that one and not put that one on the burger. He's also a little crispy, but that's okay. That's okay. Well, I'm not a professional. I never claimed to be a professional. And uh, that's all that matters. We're here, we're here to have fun and make something ridiculous that hopefully at the same time tastes pretty good. So we're going to start our other skillet here and get our hash browns going. Let's read our directions. Always read your directions. Two tablespoons of cooking oil in a non-skick pan and then carefully add half a bag. Okay, we will be adding half a bag indeed. So I got my uh, oil here. One name girlfriend likes the fancy stuff. Except now my hands are wet and cold. Oh man. The weakness. The weakness. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. When in doubt, use the apron. Right? That'll give me a grip. He was right, it did. Fancy expensive for a fancy burger. You're right, you're right. So I'm just going to eyeball this because who wants to go get an actual... That's a lot of oil. I should have not eyeballed it. Should have not. Mistakes were made, but that's... Okay. Give that a, give that a nice coating. Keep an eye on that bacon. Let that continue heating up. Watch the bacon. Actually, you know what? We're going to call those done. Our bacon is complete. Now we have all this wonderful bacon grease. I'm going to take this. We're going to put it in the microwave. I suppose somebody could try some bacon. Just, I'm going to put three on each burger. There you go. So is it... There you go. There's your appearance. We're going to put that in the microwave because why not? So I can forget about it. Happy accident. Exactly. It's a happy accident. There we go. Anyway, so we got that going. I'm going to wait a little bit on on the uh, the burgers, though. Because these hash browns are going to take a little bit. I should, probably should have started them a little bit sooner. Let me get another knife that's not covered in meat. He's done it. Keep you set aside, because you're going to kind of come in handy. <laughs> Yo, Tuper, thank you for the three-month resubscription. I greatly appreciate that, my guy. I know, it feels weird. I, maybe you skipped two. Maybe that was part of it. Uh, for now, I'm going to tilt the camera back up, because we're not doing any action down there. There we go. So I don't have to keep punching over, and we can kind of hang out because we got a few minutes here. I'm going to turn this down though for now. That's the problem with electric stuff. You have to let it heat up before you can actually just throw it in. Alright, so we're, we're going to add half a bag. It says to add half a bag, so... Oh wait, what am I doing? I have a camera shot for this. That white balance though. I can get more out of here. There's a giant brick in here. And I don't want to put the brick in. So let's just pretend that I made these from scratch. You know, that's going to be enough. That feels like half the bag. So how long do I need to let this sit for? Cook five to seven minutes. Drizzle with another tablespoon of cooking oil. Sprinkle some salt. Oh, we're going to put a lot of salt on this sucker. And then carefully turn them for another four to six minutes. So I think I'm going to let these cook uh, on this side. And then when I flip them is when I'll add the burger. Because this other pan is where, what we're going to cook our egg in. 
I've got a little mold and everything for that, so I'm going to go ahead and actually get that out before I forget about it. To keep it nice and round. Got the, got the nice little egg mold. You just crack your egg in there and then we're good to go. What kind of salt though? The ones from my, uh, my viewers that get mad at me for doing weird things. That is sacrilege. What, calling it my own? Massage bam. A bam? Maybe I'll bam it whenever I put the salt on. But we're going to be using this salt from this salt shaker. We'll probably add a little bit of pepper as well, though I think that's kind of empty. So hopefully we don't burn those. They're steaming up. They're cooking really nicely. Here's another look at them. You can see, you can see the moisture coming off of them. Go TPA. Cooking speed run? No, we're taking our time. We're having a good time. We're just casually relaxing. Casually relaxing. I wish there was a way that that wasn't so white balanced, but you know. You know. What else do I I feel like I'm forgetting to do something very specific. But I'm not. Because the waffles will have to toast while the eggs are going. We're moving, we're moving quite along. So you know what we're going to do? Let's see what it's like. Let's see what it's like. Let's grab one of these super crispy ones. One, two, three. Okay, here we go. Let's see how I did on the bacon. Mm. That is some good bacon. That is, it's got the crunch, it's got the dissolve, everything you want in some bacon. Salt bay it up. I don't know if I could. I don't know if I could. I lost track of time. How long has it been since I put that in there? Like two? Imagine if I had my good microphone and was eating bacon. Imagine. Just imagine if I had the good microphone set up. I felt like that was asking my computer to do a lot. Stand by for a second. Give me water. Out of the cabinet. And a couple bags for the meat. Or whatever you would put them in. Bags. I don't know. What would you put them in? No, to store them. Put them back in the fridge. Oh, here. Gosh. It's a one-man show all. The oddest question. Just put them on top of me. No, to put these away. <laughs> Gosh. I just woke up. It's a one-man show, guys. It's a one-man show. Gosh. Too bad there's no tater tots, because tater tots are the fry of choice for this. It is late. It is 9.30. I don't think they're going to fit in these. Go have fun. They definitely will. Chat, has it been... If they don't, put them in a bag together. It'll be fine. <laughs> Damn it. You know what? It'll be fine. Go ahead and throw these away. We'll s even open them. Just throw it away. It's fine. Why are you lying? Raw meat. I mean, the best time to wear a striped sweater is all the time. I've got it all listed out. <laughs> I don't want to miss a beat. This probably breaks some sort of rule, but we're not a kitchen. Yeah, it's late, but normally this is my dinner time, so. Breakfast time is all the time. So when I was in college, uh, right before finals, stand by just a second. Right before finals every year, they would do breakfast at night, and it was the greatest thing to ever exist. They started serving at 10 o'clock, and it was so good. Nothing like going down and getting a stack of pancakes and... Uh, I don't know. I don't know how long it's been. Guys, has it been? Yeah, see, Erica, no. Erica went to school with me. And it was the best. It was so good. So. Oh, we'll do good. I love making breakfast food. That's my favorite thing to cook, so. Exactly, Erica. See, Erica knows. She knows. Okay. 
But it was only once a year. I wish they did it more. Also, this thing has pockets, and it's the greatest thing ever. That's what I was putting my phone in, but now I have my phone showing the stream so that I uh, make sure I'm not, like, freaking out or something. See, this is the awkward time that I didn't pr do anything for. Otherwise, I would have had something planned for this downtime, but I figured everything was going to be to the wire. Let's let's just take a peek, see, see how they're looking. Those are barely even brown. What am I saying? No, no, no. Let me turn you up just a tad. Oops. Happy accent. Be the food network of Twitch? I mean, I already am, let's be honest. Have you seen a better cooking show on Twitch? I don't think so. You want more college stories? <sighs> Try to think of a good one. Trying to think of a good one, but I can't. Just wait until you check Snapchat later? Oh no, I can't wait to see it. Who did, did you send it to everybody? Please tell me you sent it to everybody. Because that's what I want in life. One of these things is whistling at me. I don't... Maybe I turned this up too high? Maybe they're getting intense? Man, I can see that bacon through the microwave and it looks so good. I just want these guys to brown up a little bit more. They're not they're browning a little, but not not a lot. I don't know if I can Flipping these things, I don't know how that's gonna happen, but you know. Whatever. We'll go ahead and salt it up. I hope you guys are ready. Here we go. Here we go. Bam! That was a lot of salt. But I bammed for you. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys liked it. See I'm a professional. Professional, I have a catchphrase and everything. So yeah, the patties and hash browns are supposed to cook together. But we're going to flip. And when we flip... Actually, you know what? Because we still got to cook the eggs. The eggs can cook while that's on the other side. I... So yeah, let's go ahead and we're going to drop in the patties. We're going to drop in the patties. So here we go. Probably should have switched and put them on the close one. But like I said, the, the bacon grease is in there. The sausage, it's going to be great flavor. It's just going to take a, a bit... There we go. Give the hand watch and I'll grab the camera and we'll go mobile. We'll go mobile. Always wash your hands, kiddos, when using raw meats. All right, let's grab the camera. Let's go mobile. So we got our hash browns currently uh, looking great, doing wonderful. This is as far as I can go, but we got our burgers going. You can see the bubbles, hear the sizzle. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. We're doing good. We're doing good. And just so you know, I didn't come into this completely unprepared. But there's my list there's my list of all the stuff, how we're going to stack it up, my order of making sure everything gets cooked at the right time, and then to make sure I got the Little Mermaid reference right. I, I had that all written down. So we planned. We planned. We didn't just wait. We're not winging this. We had an idea. We had an idea, and we're running with it. We're running with it. Mary screenshot a couple? Yes. So I'm going to guess these are probably good to flip now, because they're starting to look like they're getting a little crispy. So here we go. Here we go. Can we do it all in one? No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Those got a little blacker than I would have liked, but I'm going to turn that back down. But you know what? It's called adding character. Adding character. 
I don't know. They weren't browning. It's because they were blacking. That's what's happened. I was hoping for the sick flip too, Vince. I really was. I really was. I can do pancakes. Hash browns are a little complicated. They're a little wobbly. Let me make sure I have my meat thermometer ready. Though the meat thermometer is going to be a little hard, a little different because there is sausage in there. So we're going to make sure these patties are done. Because uh, we don't want any raw sausage or anything. You expect a sick patty flip? Oh, don't you worry. Don't you worry. We're going to have a sick patty flip. Grab a different spatula for the patties. Because I like to make a mess. I like to make a mess. Oh, wonderful. These guys are coming along great. But they're going to take a while because they are pretty big. I wanted them to be a little flatter, but unfortunately... Actually, I need to get out my other stove spoon. Because that one's full. I'm going to put this one on this side. There we go. This is. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. i put the other hash browns away while you guys watch that. So my armpit's not right in front of your face. Put those away. I need to move around a couple things. Over here. Make sure that the toaster's ready to go for when we make our Eggo. Okay, he's all plugged in. Looking fantastic. We're looking wonderful. We're set up. Doing great. I did say I want the hash browns to be crispy, so I guess they're going to be a little crispy. But I hope you guys are enjoying this, because I'm having a blast right now. Just an absolute B-L-A-S-T. Damn right. So I think I can move this tray, too. Normally I'd be doing dishes right now, kind of cleaning as we go, but nobody wants to do that. Nobody wants to clean as they go. Check our patties again, make sure they're doing okay. Okay, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and give these a flip, the first flip. I will flip them multiple times. There we go. I'll try and bring you guys along for the ride here. That's what I have to do with my right hand. And this is as far as it can go, unfortunately, so hopefully I don't, like, lose the shot while I'm trying to project this. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Angle. Oh, right onto the other patty. Not ideal, not ideal, but look at that color. We're getting some color. And then, wham, bam, another one. Kind of give these guys a little bit of a squish, see if we can flatten them down a little bit. Honestly, that's kind of difficult. Filming and flipping. Not a man of multiple talents. That color, it's looking great. We're going to add a little salt and pepper to them as well. Even though they do have that sausage in there, so we do want to be a little bit careful. Add some pepper to the hash browns, because everybody likes a little pepper on their hash browns. If you don't, I mean, that's your prerogative. It's your prerogative. You do you. Now, what about the people who aren't a fan of grease? Well, you can drain your bacon grease before you cook in it. I like to cook in it because it adds a whole new flavor to it. You know? A whole new flavor. Because not only then do you get the sausage or the hamburger, but you get the bacon as well. Yeah, I know, okay. I was hoping to keep them from shrinking. Because I, I want them wide because... I mean, let's, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Because our bun's the Eggo. We went over that already. Our bun is the uh, the Eggo waffle. But we want to make sure that one bite's not all in, like, the uh, all patty, or all Eggo, and then the next one's all uh, hamburger, you know. We want to make sure. So let's flip back. Let's flip back. Let's see. You know, they're actually kind of sized pretty well right now. It's looking, that's looking mighty fine.
Correct. I want him to be able to fill out the waffle. Alright, we're going to turn these down. Because they're looking pretty done themselves. I give this other side a little flip. Yeah, they're actually nice and crispy. They're, they're doing really good. So we're just going to turn those down because they're almost done. I guess what we can do right now is I'll actually need this table back. Might as well. I was going to wait and do this at the last second, but this is going to take me a while. This is going to take me an absolute while. Let me tilt back down short our, our table here. <coughs> excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. I need to wash my hand again. Because I was an idiot. Just Woo! Almost dropped the donuts. Let me wash my hands again because I just coughed like an idiot. Got to keep things healthy. Keep these things grade A. Not homemade waffles. I know, but we don't have a waffle maker. That's the problem with that. That was the original. So the original idea for this was just to do the breakfast burger like normal and just use a waffle as a bun. I just like, you know what? That's not enough. That is not enough. So now here we are. How did you? Whatever. Phone of this got set in something, apparently. So I will. Unless it's just the box leaking. It could just be the box leaking. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and cut a donut in half. Let me stand by. Let me get another paper plate here. Almost ruined it. Ow. Okay. So the original plan was to buy a waffle maker. Just do, make sure this gets clipped back. Buy a waffle maker and just do um, waffles for buns. And I was like, no, that's not enough. That's not enough. We need to go crazy. And the donut idea was literally had yesterday. But these are delicious... Krispy Kreme donuts, the best donuts on the planet. Not a sponsor. And we're going to see if we can just kind of cut one of these in half. And I'm not figuring out a great way to do this. And if I can't, then we'll just put two donuts on the burger. But Oh, first try. Eh, kind of. Oh, that one broke. Oh, no. That one broke. Oh, no. We might just have to eat that one. Because who doesn't love eating while they cook, right? That's like half the fun. So we got one. The only problem with donuts is they're sticky as hell. I think my mom would be rolling over right now. Except I was going to say in her grave, and then I remember my mom's not dead. <laughs> but my mom loves Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kremes are her favorite thing on the planet. Mmm. So good. So we have our donuts cut and prepared and ready to go. Now all we have to do is have them set aside and ready to go. Let me wash the sticky off my hands. And we'll check in on our burgers and hash browns. Might need to pull the hash browns off. Put them on the other skillet. So the burgers are starting to swell. They're starting to let's get a little on the big side. So let's flip. Sweet donut on a salty burger? That's Sweet and salty's never been a bad thing, right? These are some fat burgers. These are going to be delicious. I can already tell. I can already tell. I'll bring the camera over and let you guys get another look at them. I'm going to take the hash browns off the heat. I'm going to think they're done. Actually, they can stay on the heat for just another second. While I rearrange some space to put them on this cooling pad. There we go. Get that out of the way. 
and then we'll go ahead and turn this on low. And we're going to drop a little bit of butter in this because that's where our egg's going to go. But I need to check the temperature of our patty first. Because so when these get really close, that's when we'll start getting the egg cooked. And then we'll start assembly. Then we'll start assembly. That guy's a lot further along than the other one, so we're going to kind of rotate them. Need to do a quick Google. Make sure my temperature, if I remember it right. So it's looking like we're waiting for 160 degrees. It's going to be the good number. It's going to be the good number. So let's take you guys over. See how there's the patties. Still got the good sizzle and that bacon juice and now the hamburger grease. Don't worry, they'll get they'll get a nice shake before they go on anything. We, we won't we won't just let the uh, the uh, the sausage soak into the donut and stuff like that. That's not not what we're aiming for. Not what we're aiming for at all. So here's our donut slices. Looking good. Like I said, we had one, one kind of fall apart here. The other ones are looking pretty ideal. Kind of, kind of just like what I was hoping they would look like. So we'll put the table away for now, and we'll bring him back for assembly. And I'll make sure, uh, maybe we can move the camera so you guys can properly see the assembly of this burger because it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. But now it's just kind of a waiting game. This is starting to get low. We are going to grab, actually we are grabbing some butter, because we need to put some butter down in, you know, let me flip this so you guys don't awkwardly see my elbow, before we fry our egg. And we got to, uh, I don't know, that sausage is going to fall, or that bacon's going to fall, because I stacked it on top of the butter like a moron. God dang it, alright. Stand by. Actually, I'm going to take the headset off for just one second. Now my headset's sticky, or the little uh, clip-on pieces, a little on the sticky side. That's going to be fun messing with in the future. Yeah, I think we're definitely going to have to revisit the cooking stream again. Let's take a take a bit of our hash brown, see how it tastes. Give it a give it a nibble. Need more salt? Those are pretty good. We're definitely done. The burnt doesn't the like. That was a lot of salt. Probably added way too much salt there. That'll be fine. But definitely, definitely what I wanted. Definitely 100% what I wanted. Actually going to go ahead and prep for assembly because we are nearing that point. Not quite there yet, but we're, we're definitely getting there. Let's make sure we have everything ready to go. So this is getting hot. Let's get our butter. Let's get a butter knife. I'm just going to put a little bit, not a lot. That was probably more than I should have. Make sure it gets melted in the bottom of that pan. Don't want the eggs sticking like crazy. And then you have to take a little bit, not a lot, for this ring. This ring is great. I'll tell you guys, it's one of my favorite things that I've ever bought. And we're going to line the inside of our ring with it because we don't want the eggs sticking to the ring either. I can normally do this with the other hand. And that's why I'm like struggling right now. I 
The weird thing is, is you're gonna hear sizzle whenever you put this in, because you obviously gotta put this in before you crack your egg into it. Uh, don't worry, don't freak out. It's just the butter doing its thing. Give this a little swirl around. And I'd cook my egg in another pan, like the other ones, but unfortunately we just don't have it. I should probably flip these burgers again too. So we're gonna go ahead and drop this guy in here. Boop. Yeah, these guys shrank diameter-wise quite a bit, which, you know, it happens. Just kind of mash them down a little bit. We'll check their temperature, too. Make sure they're not getting overdone. 160 is our magic number. Guy on the left's at 150, 151. He's climbing pretty nicely, actually, so he might be about ready to take off. Guy on the right's only at like 147, so we'll kind of get them closer together here in the middle. And we'll just let them take their time. Let them take their time. And we'll go ahead and start cooking our eggs, because by the time the eggs get done, they should be good to go. So again, for the eggs, hopefully they're not in an awkward position here in the fridge. You just want to crack them into that ring. I'm telling you guys, if, if you like cooking eggs and you like cooking fried eggs, I'm telling you, these rings are must-haves. These things are incredible. I keep, I'm actually going to spin this because I want the, the little tab. Here we go. You just drop it in there. With all the leaves. We're going to kind of turn them up just a little bit. And for now, we're going to put the egg on this trash plate. That's over there. Now we just gotta let him sit, let him watch. Yo, Vince, hitting level five. And now we can put the butter away. So there's no need for any more butter. And we're nearing, nearing the end. We're about ready to start. About ready to start assembly, yo, cat. We're making the ultimate breakfast burger. And since we're in the, well, I'll, I'll kind of run it down for you guys. That is another great thing, Kit. That is another great. That is fantastic. So just kind of go over what we're going to do again while we're kind of wrapping things up here. Things are kind of cooking, finishing it up. We're going to start with an eggo on the bottom, which I need to toast those two. I'll start toasting those with the, uh, the second egg. Eggo on the bottom, half of a Krispy Kreme donut, the patty. Then we're going to add our hash browns and as a bunch of hash browns. It's going to be crazy. And then on top of that... We're going to have our egg, then our bacon. We're going to drizzle some syrup on it, the other half of the donut, and the second waffle. I need to edit my list over here because I forgot to put something on my list. That's why I kind of started there. Like, that's not right. Something's, something's not good. Hash. There we go. I said I've got it all put on this screen over here so I can see what's going on. Or not a screen on this whiteboard. So... Can I mail it to you when I'm done? I'll try my best. How about you just come here and I'll make one for you? What do I feel like? It's hot. This egg is not cooking at all. We'll turn you up as high, a little bit higher then. Check our temperature again on our patties. One sixty is the magic number. 155 on the guy on the left. One fifty three on the guy on the right, so we're almost there. We're almost there and it's almost ready to go. Yeah, I've got the bacon chilling in the microwave. Yes. Cause it's been done. Your body has betrayed you. I'm sorry to hear that, cat. I'm sorry. I just want this egg to cook. Why is this egg not cooking? I do have the right one on, right? Yeah, that's on. It's surely on. There it goes. It's kind of starting to wait. We're going to flip these guys one more time. Oh, 
Also, another heads up that you guys can have when cooking something that has a lot of grease. What my family's always done is we've had uh, these Folgers coffee containers. When you're done with your grease, you kind of let it cool before it solidify. You just put it in one of these and then just wait. And then one day you put it in a plastic bag and throw it in the trash and it's gone. It's gone indeed. Let's flip this over so you guys can see what's going on. The white balance on the egg is not doing great. But, you know, it's in there. It's starting to white up. It's starting to, starting to get there. And then the patty's still looking good. Almost done. The patties are almost done. It's kind of in the waiting stages. The waiting stages. Like from pasta sauce and stuff like that? Yeah, that's always a good one. So it's been a roller coaster of a show. You know, we, we had the bacon start. That was fantastic. The patty sizzle that's been fantastic. The eggs are starting to whiten. We just got to let those go take their time. I'm going to go ahead and get the egos out so I don't... I'm not going to forget them. They're a crucial part, but we're just going to... So I was hoping to kind of get things done at the, as close to the same time as I could so that one thing wasn't cold, but I knew the bacon was going to have to be done early because I wanted to cook the patties in it. But you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Yeah, do not put grease in the sink. No. Terrible idea. Terrible idea. And again, we don't want to pop the yolk on the egg, and we don't want it to be solid. Because half of the fun of these burgers is when you squish the buns down and the egg yolk runs out and gets all over everything. That's the best part. That's the best part. So we're kinda... He's still a little jiggly, so we don't want to take off that ring yet because we don't want it to run out and stuff like that not want it to run out like that so we're getting there boys we're getting there my mouth is starting to salivate it, we're ready we're ready self saucing burger Actually, really quick, I'm going to check these Snapchats that Erica has sent me. Like I said, Erica and I went to uh, school together. All right, never mind. I can't listen to that right now. It's very quiet. How, yo, Zando, cooking's going well. We're um, we're coming near the end. We're coming near the end. We just gotta let the burgers finish up doing what they're doing, and then we gotta cook one more egg. Toast the egos. I think we're good. Egg might have gotten away from me a little bit. There we go. That's a perfect ring right there. We'll just take this off and set them over here. Let me show you guys how this ring comes out. Look at that. Look at that perfect ring. It's so good. Uh, we might go ahead and actually pull this guy off. Because like I said, you want that yolk to be runny. You want the yolk to be runny. I need another paper plate. Can you grab me another paper plate, please? is a beautiful egg. Can we get some Pepsi action on the stream? I don't drink Pepsi. I'm a Coke guy. Thank you. We're almost done. It's almost time. Good, she says. Take this. We'll get this egg out of here. E. Just don't pop the yolk. Oh, no. We popped the yolk. No. That's okay. That means it's runny, and that's fine. As long as it's runny, we're in good shape. So we'll drop the ring back in. Boop. And we'll crack in our second and final egg. Ow. The grease is starting to pop. The grease is getting angry. 
Oh, this this one didn't crack very well. As long as no shells get in there, we're good. This one's not going to take near as long to cook, I can already tell. It also fell out of the mold. What? That's never happened to me before. Ah, oh, well. We'll just have a sloppy one. I'm saying that the ring makes it easier to put it on stuff like burgers and whatnot. So the eggs kind of betrayed me. Everything was going. Everything was going good. And then I was betrayed by the eggs. Let's go ahead and take it out because there's no reason to have that in there. <coughs> All right. I had not cough in my hand that time. Really smart for doing that. Check the temperature one more time on these burgers. 160 is the magic number. That one has reached 160. Has this one reached 160? It has. The burgers are done. Kill the heat. Set them back here because that one's not on anymore. Let that cool down. That's the problem with electric stoves. You have to move everything around. So now we're just waiting. We're going to pop it in. I lost the egg to RNG. That's the truth. We're going to pop in our Eggos. Put them on about a three. Oh, it's almost time. It's almost time. I don't know how I'm going to set up the camera for assembly. I'm going to figure it out, though. I'm going to figure it out. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Grace. Appreciate that. I forgot I coughed, and I put it up so I didn't cough into, uh, cough into the mic. That's never happened before. <laughs> now, the eggs, we popped one. This one didn't stay in the mold, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? This poor egg. All that juicy eggness. Just not staying in. Not staying in. That's okay. I'll take that one. And I'll give one named girlfriend the one that actually pops down. Like, actually does what it's supposed to do. So. The burgers do look good. Like I said, the sausage in there, the bacon grease, sauce itself. Got a little bit of salt and pepper on it, you know. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. I'm so excited to dig into this. I've been, for the last week, this is all I could think about. You know, I was thinking about, like, how am I going to do this? Like, make sure everything's timed out right. If there was any other crazy stuff that I could throw on top of it. Um, I think I think what I've come up with for the ultimate breakfast burger has been uh, has been great. I think it's a solid one. Um, the syrup's the only thing that kind of worries me. I think the syrup uh, might be a little over the top. But you know what? We're here to do it. We're committed. We're not. We're not going back on it now. Not going back on it now. But yeah, we might have to do this again. I had, I've had so much fun doing this. Sub goal or not, we might have to do this again. Hey, waffles number one. Not quite. You know what? They're, they're hot though. They're hot though. I have a tool for this. This is another one of life's greatest inventions. And there are these bamboo sticks. I don't know who created it. Who was smart enough to come up with it? But these things are fantastic. You just take these things, and you just grab it while it's hot. These don't. You know, what? I'm gonna go one more time on these. I don't want to burn them, but you know. I'll leave the camera on these ones so when they're ready to pop, you guys can see them pop up. Because the egg's not, not doing anything too exciting. Though I believe the egg is almost done and can be removed. So if somebody dings at the same exact time that these pop, 10 theoretical points. If you ding at the exact same time that it pops. The toast cam. Hey, he's toaster. Welcome to my kitchen. Glad Toaster can make it to the party. I think. Well, that's look. I'm gonna check the egg here. I think this egg is also done. So we're gonna be pulling this egg while you guys watch the toaster. Just don't pop this yet, Lucas. 
pick the hardest pan to cook the egg in, but I've cooked them in this before. That egg looks a lot better. A lot better. It's all done. When's it going to ding? There it goes. There it goes. All right. There we go. That's a little better. A little crispier on the edges. So we'll make sure to go two times on the other ones as well. This is the last thing we have to cook, guys. It's been a roller coaster, but we're almost done. We're almost done. We still have assembly and consumption. Trying to think of how I can set this up because obviously I can't put the plates on the stove because they're still hot and do it that way. I think the tray is going to be the best bet and I'm just going to have to situate the camera in a fancy way. No, it's fine. It'll be okay. Just two more pieces of waffles. Huh? You can get in there. It opens enough. Although the toaster is on the camera right now. Just, just letting you know. Okay. Just letting you know. I gathered. <laughs> I just really want chocolate milk. Are you making chocolate milk for this? Will you make me a glass of chocolate milk to go with it? Here, I'll get you the glasses. One name girlfriend is making the chocolate milk for this. Will it go well with the burger? I don't know, but we'll find out. It is breakfast, and chocolate milk is a very breakfast thing. Did you Rajiku? Hey, ding. Go one more time. Rajiku, you can have a theoretical point. I believe you. All right, this is it. This is the last piece of cooking that we have. Chocolate milk is nom. Chocolate milk is so good. One name girlfriend will fight anybody that doesn't like chocolate milk. Get these hands. <laughs> Get these hands. I see I only need one, don't you? I hope you guys can hear that being made. There we go. The cooking portion is now officially over. And it's time for assembly. So let's see. What can I do? What can I do? To make sure you guys can fully witness what is going to happen here. I think the best way to do it is to turn this and crank this sucker down. So I'm not going to be able to read chat, but, you know, it's whatever. Here we go. I think that's a good... Do you guys think that's a good angle? I think it's a good angle. We'll go a little bit lower. There we go. And I'll just grab what I need. So first, we start off with the Eggo waffle. Put that one on that plate for now. Followed up by half of a Krispy Kreme donut. Are you getting excited? I'm also super pumped. After that, we have the hamburger patty. Make sure we shake this thing off. Get, don't want too much grease on there. That's a lot. Of, well, I cooked the bacon in it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shake this off. Make sure we don't have too much grease. And we're going to drop that right on the Krispy Kreme donut. It's looking fantastic. The camera's on me. Yeah, you're good. After that, we got to put the hash browns, and we're we're caking this sucker in hash browns. I needed that spatula. There it is. We need hash browns for days. Actually, I'm just gonna use my hands for this because it's probably easier that way. Hash browns for days. That might be a lot, but you know what? Whatever. 
It's whatever. That's the whole point. It's supposed to be over the top. It's supposed to be messy. After the hash browns is the egg. Do you want this one or do you want the other one? Because you're getting the egg that's not poked. I accidentally poked one. Okay, get it out for me. Okay. Then you're going to get this one that I'm making right now. Okay. I'm going to need the spatula for this egg. Okay. I bet it does. We're going to drop the egg on there. Yolk's still intact on this one. Intact. Words. I can do that. Okay. Kind of straighten it up a little bit. Looking good. After the egg is the bacon. Three strips of bacon. Don't pop the yolk, Lucas. Don't pop the yolk. It's getting hard to stack. It's getting hard. To... The egg should have went on the very top. The egg should have went on. The... We did it. We did it. After the bacon is the syrup. This is the part we've been waiting for. <laughs> no, you don't. No, I don't. Okay, you're going to tell me when. That's just a bubble. Tell me when, because it's probably going to come out fast. It will. Okay. Drizzle that sucker in syrup. After the syrup is the other half of the donut. And to top it all off, I'm going to squish it for you. I'm sorry. Is the other That's fine. You can totally squish it. Ego waffle. And ladies and gentlemen, your first sight. Your first sight of the ultimate breakfast burger. Will you look at that? All the way down. It looks fantastic. Does it not look fantastic? It looks great. I came up with this. This is a great idea. You don't have to if you don't want to. Don't eat it yet, though. We're taking our bite at the same time. Okay. I have been waiting for dinner for the last night. Will you hold my second waffle? Okay. So we got to do it. Hold the second. One more time. Waffle. Donut. The other patty. Oh, I forgot to tilt the camera back down. You're on camera. That's fine. Okay. I forgot to tilt the camera. Will you tilt the camera back down? Uh, yes. Okay. Push. Push, 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 push. Keep going, keep going. Stop. There we go. Perfect. The other patty sits right on top like that. After that, we got hash browns. There's a whole ass Christmas tree on this <laughs> Hash browns for days. I love it. You know what? We're just going to... Oh. <laughs> so good. After that, we have the, the sad egg. The sad egg. It didn't come out, right? Unfortunate. But, you know, what are you going to do? Get the Trash? I don't know if you can or not. After the egg. That kind of works. All right. Got two. Egg, three bacon strips. One, two, three. Which means there's one tiny piece of bacon left. After the bacon is the syrup. I need to rinse my fingers off real fast. Towel, please. That looks so good. I'm not going to lie. It looks amazing. Does it not? It does. It does. Okay, what was next? Syrup. My big-ass bottle of Mrs. Buttersworth. Making it swim. After the syrup is the other piece of the donut. And then to top it all off, the second waffle piece. I'm not going to squish this down yet because I am going to take some photos of it <laughs> real fast. Because I am very proud of this sucker. So proud of this sucker. And then we get to eat it. Then we get to eat this, ladies and gentlemen. So... Let me snap a couple pictures of it. No, this is not a heart attack. I'll, I'll tell you about my heart attack burger while I eat it. Because I have, I have made a heart attack burger before. That looks so good. So many layers. Will you take a picture of me with it? There you go. 
Turn it sideways. Don't take vertical photos. What do you mean, don't take ver- Whatever. Perfect. All right. The vertical photo's better. The vertical photo's better. Okay, guys. Would you like to join me or would you like to stay off? It's up to you. I'm good. Just stand here. Okay. All right. And take your accomplishment this way. I don't even know if I can pick it up. You just kind of got to go for it. Here we go. The moment of truth. Oh, I got to put up my mic arm. I didn't get any burger in that bite, so we're going to have to go. I didn't either. So far, it's amazing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I really like the, uh, the donut. The donut is a fantastic touch. You can really touch. feel it in there. It's a fantastic touch. Hopefully I get some patty this time. I want more egg. Mm. That's so good. So good. This is the best thing I've ever come up with in my <laughs> life. Really we can literally only have this one. I know. So one day my girlfriend and I have been dieting. This takes that all out the window. We need to go run like six miles for this. Oh, yeah. This is fantastic. The syrup really actually comes through. So the syrup really comes through. The donut, really, you can really taste the donut. The bacon adds the crunch. And same thing with the hash browns. The hash brown adds a lot of crunch to it, too. And when you get the patty, you do get... Sausage and hamburger. And it's fantastic. And then always the egg dripping. Yeah, and the egg drippings. Yeah, but the hash browns add a whole layer of crunch that is so, so good. <laughs> I'm eating this whole thing for you guys, just so you know. Mm. I would pay money for this too. Yeah, I really would. I think we know our million dollar idea. <laughs> so yeah, uh, well, let's grab some chocolate milk here. See how that goes with it. Excellent made chocolate milk. Welcome. And it does go well. It does go well. The donut, the donut's the best part. That's what's crazy. I didn't think the donut would make that big of a difference, but it really does. That's real good. I used Mrs. Buttersworth, and she used... What kind of maple syrup did you use? That was actually from the Jesus She used organic maple syrup. I used Mrs. Buttersworth. I just love Mrs. Buttersworth. Yeah, no, I just, Mrs. Buttersworth is my syrup of choice, forever and always. It's so sticky, though. That's, that's the only downfall. Mine's not. Just make it, Erica. Make bacon. Who doesn't want bacon? And everything's still pretty warm, too. That's what I was kind of worried about, that there'd be, like, one layer of... Yeah. Also, sorry talking with my mouth full, but I really don't care. Huh? Yeah, gamer doing a cooking stream, and it actually coming through in the clutch. It's definitely the best one of these we've ever made. The best breakfast burger I've ever made? Do you think it'll do you think it'll ruin the other breakfast burgers? No. That's all I care about. I don't want to ruin cuz obviously I'm not going to do this every time. Yeah. I may very well eat donuts on my burgers for a while, but I'm probably not going to do a spiral stream tonight, Kat. That 
the patty is perfect. Perfectly. I don't know. I might play some Spyro in a bit. We'll see what happens. There's the sausage. That sausage is spicy. I just got a good kick of it. Add some. Adds a whole nother characteristic to it. Go back to cooking, you low life gamer. Cat, I thought we were friends. The waffle got a little soggy. I think that's just from squeezing it a little bit too. I don't know what to do with my hand. Don't play the Do not. Ah. Seriously, I'm going to highlight this. This is going on YouTube. You guys will be able to follow along. Make one of these. It's so worth it. We have to use Krispy Kreme donuts. I'm also like it, it hit me. It's a very filling burger. You want to switch? There you go. Oh my god, I'm th I'm full and I've I'm literally eaten half like this. I'm definitely finishing the whole thing. Oh, I'm finishing the whole thing. I'm dedicated. No way, These guys subbed to me for this whole thing to exist, so I'm going to eat this whole thing. We're definitely doing cooking more doing more cooking streams though. Honey butter with cinnamon is what they're saying would be really good. To oh use. my god. That sounds and Gouda cheese. I was going to put cheddar on mine, and I decided not to. Ooh, I don't cheese. Yeah, Summer doesn't like, or One Name Girlfriend doesn't like cheese. So, um, she'd probably pass on that. But I'm normally a cheddar person. I normally put cheddar on my breakfast burger. But I felt with the syrup and stuff, it'd be kind of weird. Wait, Exabyte, aren't you, uh, aren't you a cook? Isn't that what you said? My hands are so, like, Sticky. There's so much syrup. Uh, it's gonna take me just as long to eat as it is to make. Is this is so worth the calories. In case you guys were wondering. Move over binging with Babish. This is my territory now. are so sticky like they're kind of getting stiff it's weird dude i love binging with babish i watch them all the time need to powder sugar it like a funnel cake why didn't i think of that oh i think i think when i do these cooking streams though i think i'm only going to do stuff that's crazy over the top forget the waffles get funnel cakes i mean yeah i was trying to keep everything breakfast centric though that's what my goal was make it like a pure breakfast burger so what would you rate it on a scale of one honest question yeah. scale of one to ten what would you give this burger i'm gonna give it a 9.5 that's what i like to hear why tell me what you liked about it come a little closer you don't have to come on so the mic can at least pick you up because that was the whole reason i wanted to do this when you were around so i got somebody else's opinion besides my own I can see that. that. I would give it a 10. Everything else is really good. Alright. I'm, I'm pretty much in the same boat. I, I don't think it's perfect. I think it can be improved so much. It tastes delicious. I think the taste on it is pretty much a 10 out of 10. Yeah. I would say overall, probably, probably a solid. I would also probably make it a little juicier. 
It's literally falling to pieces. <laughs> That's the whole point. It was going to be a mess. I know. Let's be honest. I still have, I still have probably. Probably. I'm almost done. I think I finished off the donut, though. I don't think there's any donut left on here. No, there's some. There's no waffle on the top. I won't lie. I'm glad we went for the Krispy Kremes. <laughs> so we were at the store. Hold on, let me not be so rude. At first we went to Walmart. But they didn't have any Krispy Kreme donuts. They just had like the standard brand made in the bakery donuts. And I would have been okay with just grabbing those so we didn't have to go to another store. But one named girlfriend was like, no, I want Krispy Kreme. So we You're drove welcome. all the way to the other side of where we live into a Kroger where we knew they had Krispy Kremes. <laughs> and it was so worth it. You know what? You have three theoretical points for that. I feel like I should have six. Should I give her for six? Baking, for making chocolate milk? Should one named girlfriend get three or six theoretical points? That bacon's good, too. Give her six. Definitely six. Woo! You get six. Zero. No begging. <laughs> Who did it? They are dead to me. <laughs> Catch these hands. I'll keep it a secret. This was so good. I don't regret doing it for a minute. The last bite. You know what? Let's, let's make sure we get some syrup on this. Really go to town. I'm going to have to get a fork and make sure this is a clean plate club thing. Can get me one? My hands are still so sticky. Uh, Rajiku got one. I think that's it. I don't think I gave anybody else any. I know, you got six. So there you had it. That is a clean plate. Get the syrup off my fingers. I think it's a success too. This whole thing was a success. It was fun. We made it delicious. The cam the stream didn't freak out at all, which is what I was worried about because normally when I run two cameras, it freezes for some reason, but today it did not. It knew it was going to be good. Yes. I'm never going to finish anything around here. Everything is mine. Everything is hers. Well, guys, I think that was a successful hour and a half. If I do say so myself. But unfortunately, I'm full. I've got some dishes that I need to do. <laughs> and maybe one named girlfriend will help. My headset's going to be sticky. Good thing I got a microphone. I don't have to worry about it anymore. But yeah, I think... I think this was a success all the way around. So we're probably going to do more cooking streams in the future because I had a blast. Maybe one named girlfriend, maybe she'll join me sometime. And we'll look up more absurd ideas because I think I'm only going to do absurd ideas. I don't think I'm ever going to cook actually anything nice. <laughs> because where's the fun in that? Don't worry, Dozer, there will be a, uh, a full-on VOD. And uh, it'll be uploaded to YouTube and stuff. Finish it with a milk mustache? I, I'm out of milk, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would. She did. She did. She did. Indeed. So, guys, I think I think that's going to do it. I think we're going to call it a wrap for the first ever O&L Cooks, because I don't know what else to name it. I do need a better name. I do. So, yeah. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be highlighting this, uploading it. You can miss whatever you uh, 
it's whatever you saw. And I think I think I'm gonna end it there. So yeah. Again, appreciate y'all hanging out and for all the support and all the subs and stuff like that. If you did have fun, uh, you can join my Discord server. It's where we hang out, where we have a good time, where you guys can suggest me uh, future cooking ideas. Who knows? And you can also follow me on Twitter. So yeah, that's gonna do it, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. And have Hope. <laughs> have a good night, everybody.